lit wall signed by the hands of the omnivore regal but there's no truth What's up guys welcome back to another youtube video this is my second day in paris my friend eric came to visit from the uk i actually filmed my first ever youtube video with him so i hope i grew a little bit from the last time filming i think i got more comfortable speaking english in front of the camera i got a little bit more fluent and yeah so yesterday we and kids we checked out chanel we checked out hermes we checked out rick Owen. so those are like the high-end brands but today what we're going to do is to visit some of the local vintage stores in Paris. Some, you know, those really local ones where actual Parisians shop at. So I am more than excited to take you on this trip. It started raining just now, so we're kind of off to a bad start, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> From Boot Archive? No? Yeah, it's like they... They kind of remade. They remade, yeah. They remade. A lot of repairs. Splicing fabrics. You guys finally found what I've been looking for. French worker jacket in France. I thought these are going to be more prevalent in vintage stores in Paris, but it seems okay. that is not the case. This is a decent one. Yeah. What's it from? It's actually, oh, uh, it's reworked by Brut, so this is also from the store. I feel like some of the best items from the store, some of the best styles actually came from themselves and not the vintage stuff. They reworked a lot of these. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like the color composition. Kind of looks like a shooting jacket, but the shooting jacket, the patch should be like over here. That's where you hold your gun. wonder what this is for. This looks like quite a badass cargo jacket. Go ahead and try this on. <laughs> this is way too short. Yeah, this is way too small for me. Turn around. Ooh, they have this back. Yeah, like... Yeah, like this attachable thing. I'm going to add an extra sleeve on this part so that it looks like... Yeah, I think you can re like rework on this. Yeah, because like the length is all right. Here. Yeah, and, like, the and it's so sick. Yeah, the shoulder is not that bad. Yeah. Yeah, let me let me look at the mirror. Yeah. This is actually a belt, so you tighten it up. So like the fact that we move around too freely, you can actually carry this thing here. Now well, honestly, it looks pretty nice. Like the sleeve part is like the only part that we want to change. There's just so much detail. Yeah, there's so much detail. It's also really really comfy. A lot of stuff, a lot of things going on. Yeah. Just like a piece. It's a hood, yeah. yeah. Step back a little bit. Yeah. Turn around. Sick. You tried these on before. Not the most comfortable shoes. But you tried this before. Yeah. The black one. Yeah, there's like two versions. One is a furry, the other one isn't. Yeah, both are not very comfortable. Like the sole is really, really stiff. Gives you a hard time when you try to bend your... What do we have here? Some of these guys. It's just a local French brand. Never heard of this before. Like streetwear oriented, I guess. So like compared to like the clothing collection, the uh, furniture and utensils seems slightly better in this store. Almost like a tag on the crouch. Is there's like a, a tag on the crouch? Yeah, like a magnetic thing. You can take it off. <laughs> I'll take it off. It's a good fit. It's from Acne Studios. Yeah. yeah. I think it goes quite well with the leather jacket. Yeah, it, it goes really well with today's fit, I would say. It's yeah. like all black. It's like wide, so yeah, it fits you well, I guess. You think it's boot cut? No, right? It's just white pants. Straight? Yeah. Yeah, well. But it's like 3... 320. 20. Now I feel like we can go to the vintage stores first, and then if we don't yeah. find anything similar, we come back. I mean, and grab yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's on the list. Yeah, it's on the list.
charging from this one. Kind of funny because I travel all the way to Paris from Tokyo just to try something from this one. But it looks pretty cool, so why not? We have this pocket at the back. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't match like what I'm wearing today. It's decent. Like you can imagine me in like another fit, probably somewhere. Uh, vintage military boots with some more wider jeans. Probably going to look good. Yeah. Yeah. Have, like a little. It's almost a lime color way. It's like a darker green, it's probably going to be better, like an olive one. Yeah, it's like a faded, like, military green, yeah. olive, I don't know, I don't know how to describe this Yeah, but I think it's, uh, this is personal opinion, but I think it's too light. It is like You know, I like how they arrange it by color. Oh so yeah. It's like uh, olive, army green, and then brown, beige, whatnot. Apparently, this place they don't just stock vintage stuff. They have some Hermes here. They have some Chanel. So even for these really high-end brands, they do stock them. These go for more than one k euros. So really high price. Yeah. And here we have a pair of trousers from Craig Green. These are 250. It's also really nice, I really recommend it. Uh, I like to try them on, but I think but I think it's too big for him. It's kind of gum sole. Mm. Yeah, Rick Owens used these too, right? And the easy creeper boots, you remember those? Those are come kind of with oh, yeah. gum soles, yeah. They are easily repairable. But they do not last too long, I think. Yeah, oh, they're comfortable right. though. Yeah, better than heels, I would say. Yeah. Seems quite comfortable. Yeah, the, but these the shoes, seems quite the sole is quite whack, to be honest. Right? It looks like a loafer with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a puddle boot mixed with a loafer with some gum sole. Yeah, these these are whack. Uh, so guys, we're currently in the uh, women's wear store of Thank God I'm in VIP. And we're at the gray, black, charcoal section, which is definitely my go-to colorway. Going to look uh, if they have anything I want. Moss Chanel, Lon Vaughn. This is quite an extravagant design from Lavon, right? Nowadays, they really have that minimalistic aesthetic that they adopt. Yeah, it's a big contrast. The women's wear store is actually a lot bigger than the men's wear store. I'll say it's almost twice as big. And There's yeah. Like another side, similar layout. Uh huh. There. Yeah, it's large. It's huge. A lot of long bone. You know, the other thing I like about this store is that they always put like the photos of them styling their stuff. Yeah. On like right beyond the rack, so you get like a general idea of how you're going to look when you buy clothes from them, and how you can possibly style them. That's quite smart. Yeah, that's quite smart. And the styles they're making, to be honest, pretty impressive. It's better than men's store, though. I didn't film like the styling they did in the men's store, but yeah, this is cute. Guys, we're at the Broken Arm. It's basically the uh, one selector store in Paris that really causes shots when it comes to fashion brands. They have Kiko and Machaco, all legacy and other stuff. And uh, we have some stuff that we want to try on, and let's see how it goes. guys so it's technically my last night in paris i'll be going back to tokyo tomorrow early morning and yeah it's it's been a really amazing trip so i want to say a big thank you to everyone that i've met in the past few days you guys are the people that made my trip truly memorable it, it's amazing like i never thought that i had such a great time in either the uk or paris so 
Thank you to all of you, my old friends and new ones that I met throughout the trip. You guys are amazing. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and all that. It really motivates me to make even more video for YouTube. And yeah, I'll have to go back to Tokyo tomorrow because um, I have something important there and I have some more friends waiting for me back home. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. Bye, peace. What's up guys, I'm back to Tokyo and I'm going to show you some of the pickups that I got in Paris. First of all, we have this Margiela t-shirt. Although this is Mason Martin Margiela, which means that it's after Martin Margiela himself have left the brand. I feel like this is definitely paying the tribute to just how creative Martin Margiela himself is because he always had like this thing for making simple designs complicated or reinterpreting something that is considered simple in terms of clothes, in terms of garments. And um, this time, like they did a t shirt, which is one of the most Martin Margiela thin that can come from a once Martin Margiela affiliated brand, Mason Martin Margiela. So, um, speaking of reconstructing t shirts, actually, um, there's this. Um, undercover show. It's actually my favorite undercover show from All Six Spring Summer. It's called T. So um, in that show, Jun Takahashi, the designer of undercover, basically, he um, reconstructed the t-shirts. He made dresses, he made tank tops, he made jackets, he made ponchos, all with t-shirts, all with like print rock band t-shirts. So Jun Takahashi himself, he actually remarked in one of the interviews that he took inspiration from Martin Margiela his playfulness when it comes to simple designs and especially t-shirts and he incorporated that element into his show and that's how the show T came about and what's really interesting as a fun fact is that he actually collaborated with Martin Margiela on one of the items so it's actually one of the t-shirts from the show but then like June kind of like sent it to Martin Margiela himself and he gave his own touch on the t-shirt and then it, it looks amazing as he is the one who kind of like, you know, shared this idea of an interpretation of simple silhouettes all around. And then he inspired Jun and Jun like, you know, kind of like gave him credit and asked him to do one with his show. I think it's like a full circle. It's really cool. And um, when I was looking at this, I just thought about, you know, all the stuff that I just said. It just all went through my head and then I bought it. Next item is this trouser that I got from one of the vintage stores in Paris. These are absolutely amazing. This is from a fan, according to the owner, that has stopped before I was born. So that's before the 2000s. It probably it's, I think it's an Italian brand as far as I know. And it's made in Italy. I don't know how to pronounce the brand name. I'm going to have like the video off tag so you guys can see for yourself. The design itself just really reminds me of the modern day Kiko Kostadinov design. Like the way the line kind of just curves down in like a really elegant and beautiful way is just amazing and when i throw it on like it doesn't look like the trousers that i usually wear but this is such a cool look and i think it's such a interesting item from the early days that i never even knew like existed that just really urged me to buy this and I just wanted to bring it back to japan so bad i've always wanted like trousers that feature this 3d pockets from hell land and i just never found like them in like a reasonable price because they're usually so expensive so when i saw like there are 3d pockets on these trousers i was like god damn like these are the my dream trousers basically and again like you can see like the construction of this just absolutely amazing even if i would have spoken chinese for this video which is my native language i wouldn't know how i'm going to describe this piece man just just going to film a whole lot of b-rolls and you guys can interpret for yourself Alright guys, so the last pickup in this video is this over-dyed vintage military jacket that I got from Brute Archives. So um, Brute Archives, as you've probably seen earlier in this video, it's basically a vintage store that sells like really expensive vintage stuff. Like a reworked, you know, French worker jacket from Brute Archives could go for I think 300 euros and people are actually buying them. So uh, when I saw these going for like... 185 at boot archives i just thought that you know it's what a 
what a reasonable price because it's really heavy and it's quite a big jacket and it looks like way more complicated than those you know reworked uh french worker jackets although like i love french worker jackets and get me wrong like similar to the um trousers these military jackets they come with so many details like it's mind-blowing um, first of all i think it is this buckle in like the front it doesn't just remind you guys of like the brand reese cooper where they had like buckles i feel like this is like the same thing but this is actual the vintage version of it which makes it even cooler then other detail is that they actually attach like different fabrics on like the sleeves and like the hems of the jacket and i feel like doing that really adds like another layer to like this item so when you wear it it looks like more interesting i feel like it gives off like a more stunning look when they have like different fabrics kind of pieced together we have like a bag that is actually attached to this jacket so there is actually two buckles in the front that goes like right at the front of your shoulders and those two buckles actually carry the bag it's like a huge bag like you can remove it if you want and then last but not least we have this net that goes in the hood i think this is for when you're in the forest and there's like insects you probably put the hood on and you then uh roll down like the net and so it blocks like insects from you know flying in front of your face or getting on your face so even though i don't live in the forest when i roll it down it gives off like a really cool look it looks you know dystopian kind of style and um, it's really fresh for me like i really love it all right guys so i think that marks the end to paris vlog number two and yeah if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe share with your friends that's it for today thank you for watching peace